hello and welcome back to another video if you're new my name is lauren i have an exciting partnership to start off today's vlog it's with princess polly and i'm so excited to be working with them again today i have some really great summer pieces for your next upcoming trip it ranges from dresses skirts two-piece sets something perfect for your summer wardrobe. Before I share these pieces, I did want to mention that Princess Polly offers free US shipping with $50 orders and also offers shop pay and after pay as well. So I'm going to start off with showing you some of the two-piece sets because they're so fun and you can mix and match and kind of create different outfits with them and that's what I love about two-piece sets. So the first set is a little outside of my comfort zone. It's this green and white striped two-piece set. So it's a long sleeve button-up top and then a short set which hit high-waisted but you can also wear them low-waisted elastic waistband and a tie so the way that i styled it in the try on is with a tank top underneath i also showed it buttoned up with one side tucked in and also um, the whole front side tucked in you can wear it together you can wear it separate i feel like you can wear it just so many different ways and that's what i love about two-piece sets and i'm so excited to pack this with me for my italy trip i'm kind of trying to pack super light for that upcoming trip with clothes that you can kind of mix and match and create different outfits but it's all like the same piece so i can probably get three different outfits out of this and then also a bathing suit cover-up where this alone with some jean shorts or some linen shorts and then wear this alone and then pair them together so i'm really excited to have this it also comes in so many different colors so if this isn't your color they have so many more next is this white two-piece short set this is a little bit heavier of a quality sweater material but still lightweight enough for summer comes with these knit shorts i wear them high-waisted how i style it in the try on is i tucked this in to the shorts in the front but you can also leave it untucked and like i mentioned with the green and white stripe set it's great because you can wear this multiple ways different bottoms with the top and different top with the bottoms or wear it together so three different outfits i'm excited i think this is going to be a travel outfit i have for my italy trip a couple days where we're going to be doing like a train ride all day and this would be perfect this would also be great for walking around when i don't want to wear like jean shorts or a dress and keep it a little bit more casual and comfy next i got this white jean skirt it has a slit on the side and then it zips up the back i would say this runs really true to size i didn't know exactly how it was going to fit and it fits incredible so i always have difficulty finding a good jean skirt i actually don't own any white jean skirts or regular jean skirts because they never fit me right they never fit correct at the waist and they always kind of like gape out in the back and this one i was really worried when ordering it but i wanted to give it a try it fits perfect it hits right at a great length on me i am 5'2 for reference and it fits my waist really well so i think it runs really true to size loved this and so glad that it fit so perfectly okay next we're getting into dresses and i'm so excited i love princess poly dresses they are truly so cute and they all fit so well. I have so many different style like mini, midi, and maxi dresses and they all fit so well and they're so complimenting. So the first one is this black maxi dress. This is like the perfect summer maxi dress. The back is so cute. It has a little cute kind of crisscross detail. Love the neckline on it and it has a zipper up the side. Like I mentioned, I am 5'2 and it kind of just skims the floor. So I think it's supposed to hit a little bit higher, but it hits me more of a full length past my toes, but it doesn't like run on the ground. Perfect black dress that you need for summer. 
So this next one I'm really excited about. On my first Princess Polly haul that I did for springtime, I got this really pretty maxi dress with flowers on it. And I loved it so much that I knew I had to get it in another color. So I got it in white. So one thing about a summer wardrobe is you need a black maxi dress and then you also need a white maxi dress. So I thought this one was perfect and I knew I already loved the style of it and the cut of the neckline and the length and just how it fit on me. I'm actually going to Rosemary Beach in a couple of weeks and it's an all white town in the panhandle of Florida and I thought this would be perfect to go to dinner there. I'd kind of like blend in, yes, but I thought it was the perfect summer dress by the beach, going to dinner, so got that one. Okay, these next two I think are my favorite from the order, but next is this really pretty maxi dress. I love the floral pattern. When I saw it, I knew I had to have it. Love the neckline, and the back has the most gorgeous crisscross detail. So cute ties, has a slit up the side. I think this pattern also comes in a skirt and also another style dress, but I absolutely loved this one. The back, the neckline, and the slit up the side. I thought it was so pretty. Perfect for summer. Okay, the lighting keeps changing in here, but next I got this really pretty mini dress. It's this yellow color with purple flowers has a really pretty neckline zipper up the side and it also has a little tie in the back so you can kind of make the dress look a little bit more form-fitting and not as flowy which is super complimenting on any and every body type it's another one of their style dresses that comes in so many different patterns so if you don't love this one trust me they have so many more it's so cute and i'm so excited to wear this on my upcoming trips this summer. Last but not least, I got this black romper. I do want to say it does run short. I will probably wear it as a bathing suit cover up, but if you want to wear it where it's a little bit longer, I would suggest sizing up. I got my normal size two, but I would love if it was a little bit longer, so I'll probably stick to wearing this as a bathing suit cover up, which I think is perfect. I love something that's so easy to throw on after like a boat day, a beach day, being out in the sun. This makes it so easy and it's so cute. Ties up on the shoulders, so you can kind of make it looser or tighter also comes in a tan color but if you are taller like i said i'm 5'2 i would definitely suggest sizing up to kind of help with the length a little bit and that concludes the princess polly haul i did want to mention that i do have a 20 percent off coupon code i'll put it right here on the screen it's love lauren 20 and it'll get you 20% off your Princess Polly order. Let me know in the comments down below what you're purchasing and thank you again so much Princess Polly for working with me on today's video. This is so bad. Christian left 30 minutes ago to go to the golf course and it's literally so windy and rainy outside. So I really hope this isn't... I don't know which golf course he went to and how far away he went but... I really hope this isn't putting a damper on his day. Kind of really sucks. He literally just left and it just started downpouring. It does kind of suck that it's raining outside because I did need to run some errands today, but maybe it will clear up in a couple of hours and I can run those later today. But I did want to share the vitamins that I've been taking for a little bit now, some of them longer than others because I kind of swapped or I went back to one that I was taking before. So I know vitamins can be kind of like a touchy subject, so I'm by no means suggesting that you get these vitamins or telling you to take them. I'm just sharing what I've been taking because I've never really taken vitamins consistently for a long period of time. And to be honest, um, it's I know that I'm deficient in certain things and I just never took vitamins to help and it got to a point where I just like every single day never felt like super great like I had brain fog I just felt super low energy I just felt so exhausted all the time and 
I don't even know how to describe it. I literally felt like almost sick every day. Like I just didn't feel well, like ever. And I was just like powering through my days and it wasn't fair for me anymore. So I started looking into vitamins and a couple months ago, I was taking the Ritual multivitamin and then I stopped taking it. Honestly, don't know why I stopped taking it. I think I just didn't do like a renewal subscription and stopped taking it. I was like, whatever, like I don't need it, whatever. And then I started to just not feel well. I never felt super good or energized. There was just a ton of brain fog. I was always tired, like it just was not good. So I started looking more into vitamins a couple months ago and looking into like affordable vitamins, something that I can get and I'm not like spending a ton of money on it. So I started taking the Hum Base Control Women's Multivitamin and I took this for not even a full month and I was taking it with the One of Nutrition Omega-3 fish oil capsules, which I actually really like. You don't taste it, if you know what I mean. Like, you can't tell that you took fish oil. So I was taking these two, but this has biotin in it and biotin makes me breakout like it gives me little bumps i know i can pinpoint it i did accutane a couple years ago and it was the best decision i ever did for myself and now i know exactly what triggers my skin and which i am so grateful for i could never tell when i had like consistent acne and blemishes i never could tell or pinpoint exactly what it was and now i know exactly what certain things affect my skin and biotin is a huge one so even drinking celsius a couple times a week it has biotin in it if you didn't know it affects my skin i would get little bumps on my chin jawline a little bit on my forehead and right when i stopped taking it it's went away so i decided to give it a try again and i didn't really think it would cause anything because it's such a low dose of biotin but it did so i stopped taking it i said it's not worth it to have little bumps all over my face like i didn't like it right when i stopped taking it it went away and then i went back to ritual i like these it doesn't have biotin in it it's one of the few women's multivitamins that i can find that does not have biotin so i went back to it because of that so i did want to share one con that i do have with the ritual multivitamin by the way like none of this is sponsored i've purchased all these vitamins with my own money but one thing that no one has spoken about about ritual is you can tell that there's fish oil in them like you can instantly tell that there's fish oil it's a minty flavored capsule which is great but it has a slight like fishy minty taste um and you you can taste it like a couple hours later as it's digesting like you if that just tells you anything about these but i truly like this vitamin i notice a difference almost instantly like after a couple of days i instantly felt better i feel just so much better i feel like it helps fill in certain gaps with vitamins and it's just a great like overall multivitamin and definitely consult with the doctor before you start taking any any sort of multivitamin because you don't want to like overdo it that's when it's negative on your body and yourself but i felt like this was like an overall good general multivitamin that could help fill in a lot of different gaps that didn't have biotin so i've really been liking this I have it on like the monthly subscription. They also sell it at Target and I've just really been liking it. I just don't like how you can taste the fish oil like as it's digesting, if you know what I mean. So I really think that this will be in my routine for the foreseeable future, honestly. And yeah, so just wanted to share that. I'm also taking Symbiotica's B12 and B6. I know I'm B vitamin deficient, so I did a ton of research on this. I'm on the monthly subscription, so it's automatically sent to me. 
um, is a bit pricey for a vitamin. It tastes really good. You just do 12 drops in a spoon. I do it every morning. And I personally enjoy it. Like I notice a difference with this too. So taking these two every single day has made such a difference in how I feel overall, which is so important. But like I mentioned, definitely talk to your doctor. Just wanted to share those vitamins that I started taking on a daily basis because I haven't really touched on them, but I didn't want to because I wanted to wait until it was my second month of this, which it is my second month. And then this I went back to. So I've already been taking this before and I really like it being like, this would be like my third month. I think I took it for two months then I stopped and now I'm back on it. But this I recommend. I didn't mind taking these. The only thing was the biotin and these are really affordable. I think there was 12 or $14 and you can get these at Target, I think so or amazon but and these are great too like i mentioned anyways that's my little vitamin routine i also added honey to my coffee this morning and it was so good i had it two weeks ago for the first time actually i've never added honey to my coffee before i've only added like maple syrup as a sweetener or like creamers and things and um I got it two weeks ago at Lobos Coffee Shop, that's by Baldwin Park, and I got a honey almond milk ice latte, and it was so good. So I wanted to start putting honey in my coffee at home, and I just got this one from Costco, it's the organic raw honey. I really liked it, and it's a good sweetener without having like flavor to your coffee, because I do love nut pods. I love the Nut Pods coffee cake flavor. It's the almond and coconut creamer. I've used this for probably a couple of years now. Maybe not this flavor, but multiple flavors by Nut Pods. They're like plant-based, dairy-free, unsweetened, all that stuff, but they do have additives in it. So that's the only con, but I really like the flavors of these and they're dairy-free. So that's my new little coffee, I guess, recipe in the morning, cashew milk, honey, and then espresso. Double shot of espresso. Okay, here's a little Ulta haul. These are the two items that I did for the mobile pickup. I needed new concealer, and then I wanted to try a new cleansing oil or balm. I have used the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm for a year and a half or more. I've repurchased it a hundred times. I love it, but I really wanted to try something new. So I got this deep cleansing oil. It's a little bit different because the Inky List is a balm and this is like a full-on oil, but I feel like it might be nice and I kind of wanted to switch it up. So I got this, maybe I'll try it tonight on camera. Also got more of my favorite brow pencil. I haven't had this brow pencil in so long. I ran out and then I had the Anastasia pod or pomade it's it's terrible sometimes my eyebrows can look super dark so i went in there picked up this this is relatively affordable it's like 14 dollars for this eyebrow pencil and i got it in the shade biscotti got this la roche posay hydrating gentle cleanser i've tried the other cleanser that they have and I kind of wanted to try this hydrating one. My skin is kind of combination, more on the dry side, but it can also look oily. It's just weird. And I don't know, I was trying the Cetaphil cleanser and it's okay. I mean, I don't really have any complaints, but I kind of wanted to go back to more of a hydrating one. I used to use the CeraVe hydrating one, liked it, wanted to switch it up. So now I'm switching it up again. Got this. And I just got a full size of this last weekend and I wanted to get a small one for travel to Italy and upcoming trips when I go to Rosemary Beach. So I thought this would be good. I got it in the checkout line and then I needed some new makeup sponges. So I got the Real Techniques one. That's the little haul. Yeah, 
out the veggie roll you like, and there's a spicy tuna roll right there. Have you ever had the raspberry rose? No, don't get that part. Cut that part out. Okay. okay, the lighting is weird. <laughs> Just got dinner. I went to Sprouts, or we went to Sprouts. I got a, a salmon and avocado roll, and then I got this flavor of Olipop watermelon lime, which I haven't tried before, so I'm excited. And then we also got boba, and I've never tried boba before. So I got guava, tea, and orange little pop. Bobas. Bobas? Boba balls. Bubbles. At the bottom. Whatever they are. What'd you get? Mango and apple. And green apple, yeah. Okay. Just stab Anywhere? it. Hard. Okay, not that hard. Yeah, well, pop it in. Mine's really good. Are your balls popping though mm -hmm. prematurely? No. You should get balls in your mouth. I do. And then you pop them in your mouth? Let me try yours. They're not popping prematurely. Prematurely, why? I like mine better. Yeah, because yours are, it's working properly. But I like the flavors of mine better. It's good. 